Hi everyone, this is Johnny Onos, and I'm playing Starbound version 1.0, and in this Let's Learn episode, I'm going to demonstrate what all the different techs do so that you can make decisions on whether or not you want to purchase a particular tech, either earlier in your game or later in your game. So each of the techs is broken down into three categories. You have head techs, you have body techs, you have leg techs, and uh, you get to select one from each of these categories to load you up for your adventure. All right, so let's start with the head techs. So the Distortion Sphere is the one that you start the game out with. You hit F, you turn into a Metroid-like sphere, uh, which allows you to uh, not open doors, uh, but it also it allows you to get into small spaces, and um, you can increase your speed by going down a slope. So this is really nice and useful for when you're trying to get down a pretty large hill. You can get a lot of speed while you're flying down a hill or a, a pretty steep slope. But just be aware that you do take fall damage while you're in sphere mode. So um, yeah, be careful with that. The next one is the Sonic Sphere, which allows you to do a Sonic the Hedgehog-like charge up, it, but just by holding the F key and once you let go, you'll fly across the world at supersonic speeds. And uh, it's pretty useful for when you're uh, exploring a planet for the first time. Um, I definitely take it when uh, I find a planet that um, I'm like, all right, let's just check to see what the biomes are for this planet and then move on. So very useful. Uh, then you have the spikes, the spike sphere, uh, which I think is the most useful of all the spheres. Uh, if you go ahead and use it when you're against a wall, uh, sometimes it's easier just to jump into the wall and then and then hit F wall in midair. Uh, but with this sphere, you'll be able to basically crawl a around a um a wall or a, a, you know like a mountain or anything in in this fashion where you're completely stuck to the wall it is very useful it has tons of applications i use it if you're falling you can use it um during the challenge uh challenge uh, areas um yeah this is a very useful tool at your disposal if you wish to use it all right in the aquasphere now i have a I had made a pool down below just for this video. And uh, I gotta say, this is not the first take of me going down this shaft. I died a couple times. But anyways, here we go. We are now the uh, in the aquasphere. And you can see that you kind of float across the water uh, really quickly. And this is very useful for ocean planets or frozen ocean planets. Um, to be able to transverse the planet as quickly as humanly possible if you don't have a, a boat at your disposal. So a very, very useful tool that I would suggest if you're exploring those types of planets. All right. I got to figure out how to uh, only use one button to go all the way up and down. But anyways, it looks like we have someone that's uh, coming to kill us. I'll take care of him. All right. So that are, that's all the head techs. Now, the next one is the body tech. Uh, the one that you start off with is this dash and it allows you to dash forward and backwards um, uh, given distance. And you have a very short uh, cooldown of like, uh, I think it says it here. Let's see. It's a uh, 0.8 seconds. So you can do it quite often. It's just not really good for travel, but it is pretty good for combat, allowing you to kite easier or maybe to avoid some uh, weapon fire that's coming your way. That was the dash. Now the air dash is one that I haven't been able to find a use for. Is the air dash? Oh, that's right. I've got the rocket jump on. My mistake. Uh, yeah. So the air dash allows you to to dash back and or left and right while in the air. You also use it in conjunction with your leg techs. Well, yeah. Um, I don't see a big use for this, especially given that. Some of the other techs in this category are way more useful. So let's go ahead and click on the blink dash. Now this one is really good for when you're fighting uh, bosses or enemies that have a lot. They spam a lot of fire at you. Uh, just double click. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Almost died again. Um, so yeah, you can double hit, uh, double double click on the directional movement, and uh, you'll basically do like a mini teleport which will allow you to um, avoid uh, contact damage or avoid weapon fire. It's pretty useful, and I would really suggest it if you're going to be doing one of the big boss fights. All right, 
And the next one is the sprint. Now this is the one I use all the time, just because I like to sprint, I like to move quickly. Um, there's so many applications for this, it's really hard to pick any of the others over this one. So you just dash and you'll dash as long as you have energy. Super useful, lots of applications. Can't go wrong with the sprint. All right, and the leg tax. So we have the pulse jump, which is the one you start off with, which allows you to do kind of like a double jump like this. Very useful compared to your regular jump, but um, a little less useful compared to the other techs that you have at your disposal. Uh, you have the wall jump, which, um, I don't know, I'm a little torn on this. Like, I, I would imagine this is really useful in some instances, but then completely useless in others. So I'll show you, I'll just go up the uh, the shaft of my little vault here. And you can use kind of like a spider jump to transverse, um, you know, really nice and flat corridor or pipe like the way I'm doing it. Now, oh, <laughs> I always die from falling. Uh, another cool feature of this, and this is why I'm interested in it, is if you hug the wall, and you keep hugging the wall, you will not take any wall damage, or fall damage, sorry, on your way down. So it is really nice and useful for people like me that are very clumsy. <laughs> As you can see, I, I'm having a hard time demonstrating this. But yeah, pretty useful tech. I, I don't know, it seems kind of situational to the point where I, I can't really suggest it all that much, but it's there. If you want it, you can use it. All right. Uh, the other one is the rocket jump, and I was really disappointed in this tech because of the fact that I remember the rocket, the rocket pack from the earlier versions of the game, and I was hoping this would kind of have the same effect, uh, maybe like a burst of uh, lift every time you hit the space bar. But um, unfortunately, it's, excuse me, it's limited to... Um, you just hit the space bar while you're in the sky and you kind of do this little burst action and the direction that you're you're pointing to when the burst is going off is where you'll go. So if uh, you wanted it to go straight down, you can do that if you want. Um, I don't see that many applications for this particular uh, tech uh, and uh, and yeah, it's really hard to suggest, especially when you have for people like me, the multi jump. Now this thing has been a lifesaver for me throughout the game. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my character at risk here and I'm gonna just drop down this shaft. And as you can see, the multi-jump allows me to do these little uh, little spurts of burst, uh, which slows down your descent really quickly. And while it's not that useful for going up, it's a godsend for falling down. And for me, someone like me that uh, just falls every chance he, he can get, this has uh, saved my life more than a couple times. But as you can see, you can still, you know, go up with it as well. All right, folks, so that was all the different techs. I think I've covered all of them. Uh, if you have any questions about the game or any questions about techs, please let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. So this is Johnny Onos playing Starbound 1.0. Thanks for watching.